Okay, let's ha look at our Place Value Lap Book again. And I just want to review what we have already started talking about. First of all, we have the standard form of a number. That's the way that we're used to a number being written. It is how it's written with numerals. I like somebody used that word for me last week. It's written with numerals. Who thinks that they can read this number? I would just leave that on the floor. I'm waiting on more hands to show me that they might be able to read this number or they're willing to take a risk and try it. Haley, Han Haley, right? H Han Harper. Harper, I knew it was an H. Sorry, Harper, what do we have here? Excellent. You just, one little error. Can any, here Harper, can anyone find her error? There was one little error in there. Oh. Trista? No, oh. it's not 2000. Oh, she, said and. she said and. She was exactly right, except we don't say and until we get to a decimal point. Okay, decimal point say and. Other than that, we don't use and in our numbers. Excellent, Addie. Excellent, Harper. That's a hard number to read. So, Harper, can you help us review the rule here? So, we look at the number before the comma, and we just say two, and that first comma says what? Million. Million. Yeah. Then we look at the numbers between the commas, and we just read it normal. What's that number? Everyone say that with me. 371. We don't say and. It's not 371. It's just 371. And then the second comma says 1,594. Everyone read it with me. 2,371,594. Then we talked about the expanded form. The expanded form of our number tells the value of each digit. The two is worth two million. It has six digits behind it, so we put six zeros behind it, okay? The three is worth 300,000, and we add together the values to get the expanded form. And then in the word form, we talked about the commas and the dashes. The comma comes after million and thousand, just like it does in the number form, and the dashes come between numbers that are less than 100, like 71 and 94. Okay, I know that some people are listening to me because I see them pointing to the things that I'm pointing to. Other people I see are just like looking around the room. Okay, you can't learn if you're not trying to apply yourself. Okay, on the back side of this, I just passed out the brown paper. These are your number words. These are going to be, this is going to be a tool for you to use when you're writing the word form or the number name of your number, we're gonna cut around it and we're gonna glue it on the back. And then every time it's time to do word form, you should pull this out to look at it. Now, you won't be able to use this on a test, but uh, on a test, it won't be counted wrong for spelling as long as you're pretty close, okay? So you should be cutting this out and gluing it on the back, and it's to help you on any practice when we do number, name, or word form. It has all kinds of numbers here, one through nine, then it has 10 through 19, then it has 20, 30, 40, 50. Who can tell me why it doesn't have 43 on here? Why wouldn't we write out 41, 42, 43? Why don't we write it all out? Ella? Because you already have the I already have 40 and 3. And then when we get down here, I have 100,000 million billion. <laughs> and those should be all the words that we need to be able to write the word correctly in word form.